a wagon dog for quail hunting is a key component in making those retrieves easy. What we're doing is teaching the dog to ride the wagon or the vehicle that your hunters are on, sit steady, and make that retrieve in the field and deliver back to the vehicle or the wagon that's being used. So we're going to take a look at how you train that from a young dog to a finished dog. So let's head to the field and we'll show you how it's done. The first step to building a wagon dog is getting them accustomed to the area they'll be working on in the hunt. Here we're using a more finished dog that has seen the scenario in the actual hunt to help build confidence in the young dog to the left. It's a lot of fun making the retrieves and loading up on the stand, making that delivery and getting to do it again. So we wanna use that to visually help build confidence in that young dog. She has a good solid basic obedience foundation, but we still need to accustom her to where she's gonna be working on the hunt. And as you see, we're gonna lead her around to the route, encourage her with the command load that she's already been taught to load up onto the ramp. But it being a new scenario, she's a little reluctant to loading up. So we want to encourage her verbally and giving her pets, keeping this a positive situation. If she doesn't wanna finish the load, we're gonna help her on up, show her that this is good, this is easy, this is positive. And as we walk her up the ramp, everything is always encouraging, always positive. And we're going to keep working this and keep her in the same scenario until we see her develop an okay with going up and down the ramp. Once we see that, then we will add the retrieve into the scenario, making it a lot more fun for her. The same thing is coming down the ramp. We want to encourage the dog to walk down the ramp. They're not in their area when they're up off the ground, so we have to build that confidence with a positive reinforcement. So let's take a look at a dog that is comfortable with this spot. Now that we have a dog that is accustomed to the platform, we wanna teach them to load remotely. Here we start off with a short retrieve to keep it fun again for the dog. And again, show them where they're working from. So after making a quick retrieve and a quick delivery, We'll have the dog load up, sit down in front of the opening of the ramp, and then the handler is going to move away from the dog, having them watch the mark, making sure that she's paying attention before he throws. And as he pitches the bumper out, he will send her remotely. After the dog picks up the retrieve, we want to also work the load remote scenario. Here the dog still feels too comfortable with the handler being right beside her and we're having to encourage her to get back up. We're gonna build from this into the finished product. So let's take a look. The newly taught skill creates a steady dog and a dog that will mark remotely. As you can see here, the bird is thrown and shot. The dog is then sent for the retrieve. As the dog hunts around and finds the bird or the bumper, makes the retrieve, he heads back to his known spot. All the hunter's got to do is make sure that he knows the location by pointing towards it and telling him load. A big factor to this is we can keep the dog in the shade, keep him around some water that helps them stay cool in our warmer climates as we hunt. The more expectation we build for our dogs, the more fun we will have in the field. I hope this helps you and your dog get ready for the upcoming season.